And now it's my pleasure to welcome to the stage uh, the 2012 Laureate PepsiCo, represented by Mr. Sanjev Shada, the president for PepsiCo Middle East and Asia, and his old team. Very welcome to receive the prize from the hands by Peter Forsman. Please come up. Mr. Shada, the podium is yours. Thank you, Thank you very much. <clears throat> well, uh, firstly, I did want to mention that uh, I'm just the mouthpiece. The real leaders of the great work done across PepsiCo are right here in, in the front row. And I would like to start by recognizing them. Uh, we have Lise, uh, Lise Delbauman. Lise, can you please stand up? Uh, Lise is our director for water stewardship. <laughs> Ian Hope uh, Johnson is our director for sustainable agriculture. <laughs> Beth Sauerhaft is our director for environment sustainability. And Daniel Pellegrum and uh, Sami Ghazi look after our sustainability communications. <laughs> and I have to say, we are missing a very special person today, uh, and that is Dan Benner. A lot of you in the room, I'm sure, are very familiar with him. He is our Senior Director for Sustainable uh, uh, Development across PepsiCo. Unfortunately, uh, he had a family emergency because of which he had to cancel this trip. Uh, he would have just absolutely loved to be here and he definitely is here uh, in spirit. Um, that said, uh, Mr. Forsman, uh, and uh, all members of uh, CV, the executive committee, uh, truly on behalf of our chairman and CEO, uh, Indra Nui, our board of directors, and all at uh, PepsiCo, this is a very, very, very special day for us. And thank you very much from the bottom of our hearts for this incredible honor. I would like to express a deep gratitude and uh, admiration to the Stockholm Water Foundation, uh, and a special thanks, of course, to the Stockholm Industry Water Award Jury uh, under the leadership of Stern uh, for your recognition. As much as your leadership, I have to say it is your optimism and profound belief that we can solve these challenges together that we find truly inspiring. Now, it's often been said uh, that when the Roman legions first made their way across Europe, they often saw golden glitter in the lakes and rivers. And when they looked closely, they found gold coins and bracelets just below the surface. Legend has it that they were put there by the gods, the gods who they believe lived in the water. Even then, they knew that without water, nothing else matters. And 2,000 years haven't changed that fact. Despite all of our great inventions and progress, without access to clean water, even today, nothing else matters. Safe, clean water isn't just a fundamental human right. It is the most basic need that we all share. 
And that is why, indeed, there can indeed be no higher calling for any of us than preserving and protecting this natural resource that all of us depend on to survive. The PepsiCo story uh, is one of clarity of vision, goals, and accountability. And as David very clearly you know, elaborated, uh, a significant amount of work across multiple parameters. PepsiCo is a large company. Uh, our net revenue is over $65 billion, which translates, importantly, into consumer spending of over $100 billion a year uh, across 200 countries. We recognize that that's the size of some economies today. And as a large corporation, we truly, fully do understand our responsibility to the world. Our business philosophy of performance with purpose is, in simple words, driving sustainable growth of our businesses by investing in a healthier future for our planet and for our people. And we genuinely believe that the two just cannot be removed and separated from each other. It is this philosophy that really drove us to set clear goals across various dimensions of social and environmental sustainability that David talked about and publicly commit ourselves to them a few years ago. We call them the promise of PepsiCo. And on water, these goals were the three that David talk, indeed talked about. And these goals in turn spawned multiple projects across the world on water preservation, on agricultural innovations and interventions, on community programs, on several applied academic partnerships, an ongoing pipeline of initiatives to improve our water use efficiency across our manufacturing plants and foods as well as beverages across the world, and strategic engagement and advocacy by contributing to several key platforms, including the WBCSD, the Water Planning Board, the UNCO Mandate, Water Footprint Network, to name a few. And you'll be happy to know that we are indeed making good progress on achieving our goals, indeed, including uh, the goal of reducing our water consumption per unit of production by 20%, which we exceeded four years ahead of the established stated timeline. And that brings me to the one magical ingredient that we at PepsiCo are truly blessed with. And that is the passion and motivation of our associates and partners across the world. I have to say that they believe in this mission with their hearts. And being very results-oriented as an organization, they're truly driven to achieve them. This award has instilled great pride in our company, particularly because it belongs to so many. Uh, our chairman and CEO, Indra Nui, said when she heard the news that she was bursting at the seams uh, when she heard of the recognition. Her leadership on the issue has indeed been instrumental in driving our work. This award goes to our engineers in our plants, the farmers in the fields, and importantly to the sustainable agriculture teams who are working with them across the world to implement better farming practices. This award also belongs to our valued water partners, the Columbia Water Center, Safe Water Network, Water.org, Inter-American Development Bank, the China Women's Development Foundation, and the Nature Conservancy. And their support and collaboration has been vital, absolutely vital, to the progress that we have made to date. It is only fair to expect a company with a global footprint of PepsiCo, in today's world especially, to do its part on water security. And uh, I dare say it will be fair to assume that this prestigi prestigious award is testimony that PepsiCo is doing a fair job. Now, if one company can contribute to this extent, imagine what 100 can do. Imagine what 1,000 can achieve. Imagine that the change that hundreds of thousands of corporations across the world can unleash in terms of power. The truth is, 
I believe that we have most, if not all, of the tools and insights that we need to innovate and to create solutions to solve the problem of hunger and thirst across the world. It's not a question of the wallet. It's not, I believe, a question of the will either. I believe it is a challenge of collaboration and more proactive, more progressive collaboration. In truth, the real gold isn't at the bottom of the lakes or rivers, it's in the hearts and minds of the people who believe and who are inspired to make a difference. And we at PepsiCo look forward to working together with all of you in a true spirit of collaboration to make a difference, one person, one community, one company at a time. Thank you very, very much.